Donna Martini here. I've been getting a great response from my core exercises on uh, Facebook, so I wanted to give everybody a tutorial because they're asking me how I'm doing it. So I've been teaching Pilates for a long time. I actually learned from third generation Joseph Pilates, which means that the woman who taught me was taught by a woman who's actually taught by Joseph Pilates. So I feel good sharing the information. Joseph Pilates actually called the practice Controlology. So when he died, they named it Pilates. So it's about controlling the core. So that's what I teach, core control. More so than even core power, and I'm gonna explain that in a second. And I teach what's called FTF, freedom to fly. And that's a combination of Pilates and yoga, which is why I can do those weird, crazy things. And why athletes can do it, by the way, they inherently know how to do that. So let me show you the first way you can tell if you're engaging your core, okay? So you start laying down and come down one vertebrae at a time. And what you want to do is keep your feet intact. I used to tell my client, my uh, students, make like your legs are in concrete. Feet pointing up towards the ceiling, arms up overhead. And we're going to hold the belly button to the spine. You're going to lift your arms up as you inhale. And then as you exhale, you roll your head and come up one vertebrae at a time. But you're going to keep your feet and legs stuck to the ground. So if you're coming up and going down, and you, first of all, some people can't even do it at all, and others will try to lift their legs and will start maneuvering. They're actually not engaging just the core because you really don't need anything else but the core to come up and down. All right, everything else that you engage makes you heavier and makes it harder for you to come up. So that's when you're laying down. How about when you have no balance? What you wanna try, if you can get a medicine ball, which I happen to love my medicine balls, everybody knows, and you wanna to try to get on top of that ball and use it to test where your core is at when you don't have balance. So come down into a squat and see, it's hard to do when you're talking, how far you can take it and how long you can stay on the ball before you fall off. This is core. And I wouldn't be able to do it if I engage anything else because I would be unbalanced and I would fall. So next time I'll show you exactly how to do a sit up so that you can get that core strength and core power and core control. Till next time.